Hi, it's me again, and a couple of times in the past we've talked on this channel about the selling off of Channel 4 and what would happen with that. Well, it's in the news again, and uh, there's a bit of a backlash over it. And old Nadine, who's all mouth and no trousers, as we know, has put back all her decisions and all her talk on it because she's had so many people contacted about it. She's been inundated. So let's take a look at this story and we'll have a chat about it as always, shall we? The proposed sale of Channel 4 has met delays after new Culture Secretary Nadine Doris was inundated by a spate of opposition against the move, according to reports. Around 60,000 submissions related to the sale of Channel 4, which is state-owned but independently funded through its advertising revenue, which is the way the BBC should be, state-owned but independently funded through its own advertising revenue, were sent to the government. Dorries was due to respond to the submissions this month, but the unexpected volume overwhelms the Culture Secretary. I tell you what Nadine should be overwhelmed with is emails and letters from us lot about scrapping the TV licence fee in 2027. Maybe I should organise something where we can all send her an email or a letter. I might look into that because she should be inundated with those, not about Channel 4. Her response will now be delayed until next month or even early next year, pushing any potential sale back too. The time to change the nature of Channel 4 is now, before it all falls over, before it succumbs to the inevitable decline. What inevitable decline? He said, warning that the network behind the Great British Bake Off is in a straitjacket of regulation and statutes that completely prevent it from taking advantage of what it has achieved so far. I don't see the problem, personally. I think Channel 4 is doing a fair job. I don't mind a lot of the Channel 4 stuff. I'd rather watch Channel 4 stuff than BBC stuff. And because I don't have a TV licence, I can, because I can use the all four catch-up service, which is very good. Sky, now owned by US media giant Comcast and at least one US private equity firm, were also tipped as potential bidders for the takeover deal. Uh, anyone but Sky, because they'll just put it behind the Sky paywall and then they'll charge you a monthly subscription to watch something with adverts, like they do with all their other channels. In September, the former Culture Secretary, Oliver Doden, restated his view that changing Channel 4's ownership was the best path for the channel, signalling the government's intention to push forward with plans to privatise the state-owned broadcaster. But Channel 4 costs the government very little, because it pretty much pays for itself through advertising, and the government still get to control who runs it and what they say. So what's the problem? If anything needs change, it's the BBC that needs change. Let's change the BBC. Sell the BBC off. Get rid of them. They're costing you money, government. Well, mind you, the licence fee money does sit in the government's coffers and they make interest off that. Apparently there's billions in there. I don't know. I don't know. Get rid of them both. Get rid of them both. But out of the two, I don't have a big problem with Channel 4. I just don't. They pay for themselves and I quite like some of the stuff they make because they go all independent. It's in their remit, isn't it, that everything on Channel 4 has to be made by independent production companies. And because of that, you get a good mix of stuff. You do. So what do you think about this? Do you think it's worth selling off Channel 4? I don't know. I don't think it bothers me. But if you sell it to Sky, will it end up behind the paywall? But if you were going to get rid of one of the British state broadcasters, wouldn't BBC be the one to get rid of? That's the one that's in the news. That's the one that's annoying a lot of people at the minute. And that's the one that's sending you scary letters and knocking on your door demanding money with menaces. That's the stuff that needs to change. Stop talking about Channel 4 and focus on that, Nadine. Come on, you can do it. But what do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments below and we'll have a bit of a chat about it. As always, shall we? While you're doing that, I'm going to go and make some more videos, which I will see you in again soon. Thanks for watching.